Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video, I want to show you how you can change your SMTP banner. Now, this is the response that people will get when they tell it to your server, for example. So, to demonstrate this, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm demo basically demonstrating this on localhost, which is the server that I'm on. So I'm telnetting on localhost port 25 and you can see that it responds with a 220 my server name domain name, right? So I now want to change that text. So in this example, you can see that we have to basically modify one of our receive connectors. Now you're wondering how did I get this name, right? So the first things first is you can go get receive connector, uh, which will give you everything for all servers. You could also do get receive connector by server, um, 2019A. So you can see it just is a lot easier to read and there's server B. So in this example, I want to change the banner of this receive connector on server A and this one on server B. So you'll see that I'm setting the receive connector, this is the identity, and I'm giving it a banner of 220, so it must always start with a 220, and then you put your text in here. It can be server name, can be null, can be anything, right? So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back into my window here and it's pretty much set. I'm going to do the same for my second server. Okay, so if I do a tilenet now on the 2019A server, you can see that it basically says 220 hello server A. That's exactly what I've just set, right? If I now do the same thing to my second server, you can see that the banner responds to what I've set, hello server B, exactly what I have here. So you might have long server names or if you want to identify servers, you might have a number in here which is, you know, is tied to whatever mailbox server on Exchange 2019 whatever works for you, but just always remember that you have to have a 220 in front. Now, if you want to go a step further and you want to set this banner to nothing, right? You can basically copy that text and you put in a dollar null, as you can see, right? So if I copy this now, just get my window back. Come on. Okay, well that's deciding what this is going to do. I'll just launch a new window here. Right, so now if I copy this and I paste it in here. If I now do a tilenet to localhost on port 25, basically set back to um, default value. So if you have made a mistake on a banner, you can always either set it back so that it returns the server name, or you can set it to um, a custom name that you want in this example like this so my server is acting up now there we go just took a little while longer so there you can see and that is pretty much uh, how straightforward is to change the SMTP banner thank you very much for watching